what's up guys um, I was sitting here polishing this uh, Smith & Wesson 686-5 that I recently acquired uh, from a pawn shop uh, this about two weeks ago and you know these guns they normally come with a satin stainless type finish well you know just by looking around on the internet there you know I was noticing that people are starting to polish these and I decided to do the same thing so I went and grabbed some of the uh, mother's mag and aluminum polish from Walmart a little small container there and I just went to town on it I got a an old pair of underwear cotton underwear and just started uh, rubbing on it uh, while sitting there in front of the TV there and it turned out beautifully but the one thing I had an issue with is the trigger and hammer now you know of course on the 686-5 that was the first year they actually introduced the uh, MEM trigger and hammer MEM meaning it is a uh, metal injection molding uh, it's basically just centered metal poured into a, a cast form or or some kind of form and I guess heated up and hardened it's good because it is hardened all the way through as opposed to the previous trigger that was uh, case hardened I guess just the outer edges or outer layer of the trigger and hammer were actually hardened as opposed to the entire piece but the downside to this MEM trigger and hammer is the, is the coloration I mean it looks horrible um, I've never been particularly fond of Smith & Wesson's uh, lack of either polish or finish uh, when they let the gun leave the factory. I mean, it, it looks, I think it looks kind of crude personally. Um, the case hardened finish, uh, of course, it looks much better than this. It almost, it matches the frame very nearly. So what I've done, I was just experimenting a little bit. I actually did some research online and uh no one seems to i guess really care about the color of the the uh, trigger and the hammer i mean i guess you know i haven't found a topic really whenever i do a search for trigger and hammer polish it usually means some type of gunsmithing to try to smooth the action uh not so much uh the appearance of the hammer and the trigger so uh i took that same mother's mac and wheel polish and uh i just started um trying to rub out on the uh trying to rub the trigger to try to get it a little to shine a little bit and the result is this uh, I'm not sure if this is conveying really well on the camera but uh, the finish is very nearly the same as the uh, rest of the gun now um, it took me about 30 minutes to do this and there is a shine there. I mean, it's, it's very close to the uh, frame of the revolver now. I mean, it's very close. And this is the MEM trigger on the Dash 5 and newer Smith & Wessons. I move it around in the light here just to see if that helps a little bit. But uh, it's amazing. Uh, just that same mother's mag and wheel polish will do this to your MEM trigger. So this is what it looked like before. Nice dull, well, not a nice dull, but a dull, uh, almost unfinished look about it. And this is what the trigger looks like after about 30 minutes of polishing with the mother's mag and wheel polish, mag and aluminum polish. So, yeah, I mean, you can make this thing look a whole lot better uh, just by polishing with the uh, mother's mag and wheel polish. So, uh, I'm going to keep polishing on it. And I don't know, I mean, I'm, I, I think uh, it's going to turn out really, really nice. I'm going to do the same to the hammer as well. And I think I have a nice nice piece here. Uh, not that I don't already. I mean, not the piece is already gorgeous as it is, even with the hammer the way and trigger the way it was. But uh, it can only get better from here. So, yes, yeah, so this is a tip for you. Just uh, use a old cotton rag and uh, mother's mag and aluminum polish on that trigger and the hammer. And I think you can probably get it to very nearly match the frame of your revolver. So, all right, thanks for looking.